Hey, Scorpio. So let's get started on your whole story reading. This is a reading for January, but not really, you know, because it does tend to extend out uh, further into the future. Um, oh, okay. So some of you, I feel like you may have been uh, recently in a situation, could have been, felt a bit codependent. You could have felt... Um, you know, like this connection had grown to be more of a burden, uh, something that felt toxic. Uh, there could have been some betrayal or heartbreak break here. Um, but I do see somebody moving away from that situation. So either you left the relationship or the other person did. I do feel like it is um, a relationship. For some of you, it can very well be. Something that brought a lot of um, turmoil into your life. So it could even be like any kind of addiction that you may have had that the consequences of that brought you a lot of turmoil into your life. But see, again, we have the the four of rods with the sun. So I, I do feel like this has a very family feel to it. Um, you know, family, children, I, I feel like in a lot of cases here it has involvement so let's just shuffle the cards I, I just find that um you know i try to limit the shuffling that i do but it, it really does help to channel the energy so sometimes it's worth it okay let's see let me just shuffle these clarifiers for you. Scorpio. Yeah, the five, so five of pentacles and six of swords. I feel like some of you were in a situation where, you know, when sometimes you're, you could be surrounded by people, but at the same time you feel lonely. Yeah, okay. So you had been waiting to make a decision. Maybe you were having some trouble making a decision or... Um, there was something related to finances, perhaps, that you were waiting on, maybe a, a decision on a loan, um, something that you've been waiting for. Um, I do feel like there's a success happening here with the Six of Wands and the King of Wands. I feel like there's something that happens that you, you've been wanting, you've been waiting for this in order to pursue some sort of passion or something that you're very driven about, you know? Last shuffle. Okay, let's see, Scorpio. All right, see, first card out is the lovers in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, you guys are uh, may have just experienced a breakup in your life, um, but definitely new beginnings happening here. And I do feel like there's an, uh, a sense of excitement about these new beginnings. Yeah, wow, we have so the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. Um, some of you could be pursuing more, uh, you know, career-related goals, uh, kind of focusing on your money. But I do feel like there's also, I feel like um, some of you are kind of preparing, uh, like visualizing what this Ten of Cups uh, really represents to you because you, you realize that you have a clean slate here. And so you have this opportunity to create this new reality for yourself that with the three uh, wands in reverse, I feel like that that vision is not quite clear to you yet. Um, you're kind of working on that, working on um, examining your emotions, your deep emotions. Um, what I, I feel like there's a lot in your subconscious that's kind of bubbling up right now. Yeah, I'm just getting that, you know, there, there was a relationship or connection in your life that you just couldn't find balance in. There was no... Uh, real seeing eye to eye with this person 
Um, I feel like whenever you were around them, you, you felt um, just not at ease. I feel like you were not in peace when you were around this person. But I do feel like now you're you're kind of looking again in a, in an excited way of um, you know meeting new people being around new people maybe dating um, although see with the ace of cups in reverse it just tells me that you're still like I said you're still working on these um, maybe wounds uh, just uh, you're really revisiting your emotions uh, with respect to <clears throat> the situations that you're coming out of but not just that there I mean that is a part of it but I do feel like most of your focus is on what you know you can build from here, what you can build, you know, in the future. Um, okay. I feel like um, there's a sense of um, needing to heal in order to like rebuild your confidence. Um, because there, there's a sense here like you're not really ready for something. You know you want something, but you're not really ready for it. This could be you, you just knowing that, let's say you're coming out of a commitment, but you just know that eventually you want to be committed again. You want that life. Um, but recognizing that emotionally you just may not be open to it at this time because there's, there's definitely uh, work that you need to do on yourself. Yeah. So yeah, you are releasing a lot of burdens. The thing is, though, with this eight of rods here and that ten of rods, like right next to it, you know, and right after the three of swords, I kind of feel like you're trying to rush this process or you may be, you know, like kind of trying to cut corners in a sense. Yeah. Look, the, the knight of rods, because there's there's passion there you're, you're excited about something and this could be just the fact that you want to get out there and you want to just start dating start meeting people start mingling um and that excitement is uh kind of like i said making you cut corners when it comes to um really examining your your deepest emotions Yeah, I, I, I just feel like, um, you know, this excitement, I feel like a lot of you guys maybe are going to get into a series of relationships that are not, um, you just don't take seriously at all. Like basically you just want to blow off steam and um, just have some fun. And I just feel like it's very rushed, but there seems to be a method to your madness. Yeah, you, you just, okay, yeah, you just know yourself. You don't, um, you're not feeling stable enough yet because of some major change that has just happened in your life. And so you need to give yourself time. You know that. You know that you need to give yourself time. And eventually you will come out of this. You will come out of feeling like maybe you don't have the confidence right now to, to give, you know, too much to anyone because you still have a lot to go and, and giving to yourself. You don't really have the time to spare or the energy to spare. Yeah, see, we have the Four of Swords. So this is definitely about taking time for yourself, for uh, deep thinking, meditation, rest, before you embark on this new beginning. Yeah, I'm getting here that, you know, um, slow and steady is going to be the best approach for you in order to really create, start to create something um, that is worthwhile, whether that be, you know, that could represent anything. It could be a relationship. It could be just you reestablishing yourself um, financially, um, you know, getting a new home, setting, you know, the setting up of, of a new a new household, something like that. And then also dealing with people that you've had to cut ties with and that new dynamic and how that feels because it, it, it definitely doesn't feel good. Um, 
there's there's definitely a change in dynamic between you and another person or other people and <clears throat> that is going to you know pose kind of a challenge for you because a lot of it is going to feel very unfair very like you don't deserve um, the treatment that you're getting or somebody feels that way about how you're acting Okay, so yeah, we have uh, the, the lovers in reverse with the Four of Cups. I feel like you were in a situation that kind of ran its course. You know, there there was no, I, I just feel maybe you were bored in that connection or it, it just didn't do it for you anymore. Whatever the case is, like you had this feeling like there was something much better out there or at least more exciting is what I'm getting. I, I do feel like there's a sense of like chasing um, excitement in your life, but it's not to say that I don't feel like this um, decision or whatever this uh, happened here uh, was impulsive. I, I, I'm not really getting that. I feel like, you know, it, it kind of took time to come to this conclusion that it was time to manifest um, some new reality that, that looked much better for you for the future. Because I do feel, yeah, you definitely lost a lot of your, your passion for life or, um, just passion in general i feel definitely in a connection there was i feel like the passion had gone there was no you know maybe you weren't intimate with this person for long periods of time or um even if you were i i, I just get the sense you know with the king of wands being here in reverse like there there was just no real desire it was more so <clears throat> kind of going through the motions and so again i feel as though there is work being done on rebuilding either you know that sense of passion for others or for life in general, um, and also working on your self-esteem and your confidence. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I do feel like with the tower in reverse, the tower has already happened to the majority of you. So whatever, you know, if this was a breakup, I feel like this probably happened like last year, maybe late last year or so, um, because you still seem to be, you know, uh, definitely dealing uh, with the after effects of this emotionally especially with that moon being there and it may be heightened right now today i'm doing this reading on sunday which is uh, the night before the um, the full moon in cancer so this could be definitely heightened right now because you know the moon rules cancer so it makes this a much more powerful full moon um and definitely much uh, more emotional uh, especially coming out out of turmoil okay so um, I, I definitely feel like you're de you're working on plans for the future is what I'm getting. There's plans for the future being either like negotiated or, or, or um, just talked about maybe uh, between you and another person. Sorry, I had to take a drink. So, yeah. Um, and I feel like it's it may be hard actually to come to some site some sort of agreement, which makes sense because you know the retrograde Mercury retrograde just started on the 14th, so you know communication and whatnot is going to be more difficult during this time. Um, hmm, yeah, and I'm, I'm I'm just getting like a lack. It's like you want to get out there and meet other people, but there's you're not really feeling like at the top of your game right now. And so you feel like maybe you're not going to be able to hide that. And even though you have the desire to be out there with others, um, I feel like you're, you are you may be taking the option to kind of lay low regardless of uh, your desires. Um, you know that the thing is that I feel, you know, what makes it easier for you is that you, you don't really have the sense that you're going to miss out per se on anything. It's just like, you just have to delay you putting yourself out there because it's like you, you kind of know that the options are there for you. The opportunities are there. It's just a matter of when you feel comfortable um, choosing. And I feel like at this time, you possibly don't. Okay. Wow. Okay. So we have the four of uh, wands clarified by the empress. And then we have the Empress here in reverse. Hmm. So
So I feel as though there may be a particular person or situation that you already possibly have idealized or fantasized about as far as it being your your ten of cups, you know, your perfect situation, whatever the you know this could be. This could be like a career, a particular like wanting to work in a particular company, um, like wanting a. You know, I feel like it's it's got to be like either like a particular company or this is somebody in particular you want to have a relationship with. Like you see a lot of potential in this person, or you you think very highly of them. Is how I'll say it. But the thing is that something happened here because this empress is here. The five of pentacles in reverse. I feel like there's like coldness or distance between you and, or there's something coming in between you and whatever this is that you desire, either desire to create or desire, like I said, maybe you want to work in a particular company or there's somebody that you have your eye on that you feel like you can see a future with this person. Um, but, but there's been like a detachment. So, so there's like, maybe, I feel like there's maybe doubts. Um, that's where that, that self-confidence is coming in here that you're trying to work on. So you're not having these doubts because there's, there's doubts on whether or not this can, this can be created or you can get this started or something like that because of, uh, whatever obstacles were in your way, either financial or, or, um, you know, as far as like, a lack of interaction. Um, so yeah, I feel like there was a, there, there was a lack of some, you may have, ugh, you may not have acted on something that, that you wanted to act on. I feel like this is, this is very much like a very powerful though. Wow. Okay. So we have two major arcana, the strength card and the chariot. Um, but the chariot is in reverse. So the chariot in the upright is very like powerful energy. This is like full force. I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. And this is, this could be victory, you know, very powerful, but in the reverse kind of everything is, you know, grinds to a halt. Um, and with the strength card here, it tells me that there was a lot of passion behind something like you wanted something, but there was also a lot of resistance to it. So maybe a lot of willpower to, to overcome this strong drive or desire to go after something. Okay. So we have the three of swords here clarified by the wheel of fortune. Wow. Okay. So, hmm. So there's definitely like a, a either a betrayal happened that completely changed your life. Um, or, or this is just talking about a breakup that is completely changing your life and or has changed it already and is like opening up these new opportunities. But there is a side of you, this logical side of you that, you know, you, you kind of feel like you want to take some measured steps. Like there's, there's, there's a fire inside of you, but your logic is telling you slow down because it does feel like very, I'm getting like, like, you know, when the, like a racehorse, okay. And when they open the doors and he's just, he just bolts, that's what I'm getting here. But, but you know enough <laughs> to understand that that's probably not what you want to do, even though it may be what you desire to do. Okay. Because we do have the Knight of Rods here, which the Knight of Rods isn't really the most you know, he doesn't really have a whole lot of um, self-restraint, okay, because he is very passionate and he moves very quickly and can be very impulsive. And so that's the end of, like, the central energy of this line here. Um, and we have the world, yeah. So it's like, it's something that you want to go for that you, you feel like you need to complete or you need to uh, achieve could be something that you had given up on. Hmm. 
Yeah. I, I kind of feel like um, the hesitation here is that you, you feel as though you may be at risk of losing freedom is what I'm getting. So that is what's causing you pause. That's your logic. You know, it's like your, your passionate side of you is telling you to go for something or someone. But your logic is saying, but, you know, if we do this, you might lose some, some freedom here. And is that really what we want? But I kind of feel like you're going to go for it. And, you know, yeah, we have the Six of Swords here. Man, no, there's there's definitely a struggle. There's an internal struggle here because you don't, you don't necessarily, yeah. Hmm. You need more time. I feel, you feel maybe, okay, so if you've, like, been re recently single, but there's somebody maybe that you have your eye on, you want to go for it, but the thing is that, you feel like you need more time to date or to just be out there because if you don't do that, you might like sabotage the connection because of this kind of desire. You, you, you recognize that there's a desire in you to just be free and wild and, you know, just do your thing, which totally is probably what you should be doing, you know, because, I mean, yeah, I agree. Do you really want to rush into if it's for you, it's for you. It's going to wait. So, yeah. And, and and then on top of that, okay, we have the Eight of Cups here with the Ten of Wands. There's still, like I said, there's an emotional, maybe wounds, memories, whatever it is that you still need to unload. Okay? And it's going to take some time. This is not something that you can rush. Um, but let's see here. Huh. Yeah, I, I uh, so I'm picking up here that there's some someone. Okay, so with the Ten of Cups here in reverse, clarifying the Queen of Rods in reverse, some of you could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, and this may be the person that you broke up with. Okay, I feel like there's separation, but there, either you guys are not talking or there's like physical separation between you and this person, but there is... It's like you have moments where you 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 want to reach out to this person and, and kind of pull them back, and so you struggle with this because you also it's like you don't I feel like you don't really know what you want right now. You, you're going through, hence you know the that emphasis on your emotions and and needing to really process those because I I. I I really feel the up and down. I really feel like that that roller coaster feeling, you know, of, and and the uncertainty of the future because your emotions are just being pulled in, in many directions. I feel like there's still nostalgia for the situation that you left in the past. There, there's a part of you that hasn't quite left it, you know, that, that that's still kind of yearning for that, even though I. I I don't feel like there's an opening there, to be honest with you. I feel like there, there's just too much water under the bridge is what I'm getting. So that's that's the one situation. Then you have like another potential situation that you have your eye on, but you're not really ready to pursue just yet. Um, and then your, your, your whole desire to kind of just be out there and just do your thing. So that may be what you need to do, you know, to fully like, get over this but you don't want it to be like a like a crutch or a, you still have to face you have to open those wounds to let them heal okay air it out um so yeah yeah because there, there's just some there's some bad memories there also there was some good times but there was some bad memories okay there's a lot of pain associated with this that you still need time to process so, yeah, okay, so we have the Fool and the Queen of Swords, which I really kind of like this combination because it's, again, that sense that you see kind of like this, the Eight of uh, Wands clarified by the King of Swords. It's like 
there's the potential there to be impulsive and move things very quickly, but your your sense of uh, self awareness is very strong and your logic just kicks in and, and we're seeing it here again. So yeah, you're having this new beginning. The fool does tend to be impulsive. Again, it is an impulsive energy, sometimes even reckless, but you have a little angel on your side or something like on, on your, on your shoulder, kind of whispering to you, Hey, maybe you want to take it easy, slow down a little bit. Maybe that's what this Wheel, in, uh, Wheel of Fortune in Reverse is about. Sometimes that's about slowing down. Um, things just not being, you know, ripe yet. Okay? So, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're still dealing with the swords that you have in your back from that last relationship or that last situation or whatever that tower moment was for you. Whatever was um, came tumbling down in your life or what was destroyed and now you're having to rebuild that you're still dealing with that. So just, you know, do your thing. Okay, so here we go. Huh. So here, remember with the strength card here, we talked about something that you had a lot of passion for. Um, I don't know if this was possibly a person, again, somebody that you see potential, like long-term potential with is what I'm getting. Can be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Can be a Leo or cancer as well. But um, I feel like this is what you've been resisting. Maybe because this person checked certain boxes for you and you know that if you get into this situation, you may not be able to get out <laughs> very easily. And so you're worried about that. Yeah, that's why you haven't made a decision. You're taking a long time with this Knight of Pentacles. You're taking a long time to make a decision. For a reason because you don't want to mess things up yeah okay <clears throat> i feel like um you haven't had communication with this person or this is uh like just this could very well be you know again with the hermit card like feeling like you need to be on your own for some time more like there's there's a, a sense of um needing to reflect internally um, especially with regards to relationships that didn't work out or contracts that fell through, you know, this is more so about not blaming the other party, but seeing how you played a part in this, okay, and how this behavior, that whatever you did or didn't do, affected you and possibly other people negatively okay because we always share the blame and so that's our job is to find what <laughs> where we were responsible not so much focus on the other person because that's their job so we have yeah the see the five of swords you may have had trouble with that you know because you again with that justice in reverse you you felt wrong somehow and so if somebody causes you any kind of pain or much less betrays you, you feel like it's fair game. So if you end up hurting that person, you kind of feel like they deserved it. Um, but there was a lesson in that as well, <laughs> maybe in that, that kind of thinking or uh, maybe whatever happened in that five of swords, it could have been, you know, mind game or something, you know, there was some kind of battle, maybe arguments, something like that, that you need to kind of see and gain awareness about, okay, with regards to how you behave specifically. So we have justice in reverse, yeah, with the four of wands in reverse. So I, I kind of feel like this is talking about divorce as well for a lot of you uh, with that justice card, you know, so maybe legal issues that I'll be honest with you, it may or may not go in your favor. I feel like you're, you may be feeling as though you need to protect yourself because the the um, the odds are stacked against you. This may be just how you're perceiving it because we do have the Four of Swords right on top of that. So, yeah, it could be very well just in your mind. This is how you're perceiving the situation. And, you know, I do want to caution you about that because... If this is how you visualize the situation turning out, then you may very well manifest that into reality. So, you know, be careful 
about your, your thoughts right now. All right, let's see what else. Scorpio. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, this could very well for some of you be about, um, you know, leaving a place of work or something, but I, I can't deny it's, it feels very, very strongly like a divorce situation, leaving a long-term relationship, somebody that, you know, you have a, definitely a lot of history with, and I'm picking up also on like children vibes as well. So I feel like maybe that's, you know, the point of contention for a lot of you or what you're struggling with the most, right? So if that resonates. All right, let's see, Scorpio, what else do we have for you? There's definite concern here, um, and I feel like there's certain decisions that may have taken longer than um, perhaps they needed to, but it was um, definitely over concerns about being able to, to maintain a certain lifestyle, uh, to maintain um, stability independently. Oh. Also, I feel like a lot of you uh, deliberated a lot of, of, about a decision about, you know, leaving a situation for quite a while because there is a, a, a set, a, like a fear of being alone, a fear of will I ever find, you know, that soulmate. Mm. This is a soulmate connection here. So I feel like this is definitely what you desire, what you're going after with the Six of Wands. But there is a lot of worry or a concern that that may not ever happen. I feel also there's like this sense of um, needing to take action. Like you've been holding off on some kind of decision and there's a sense of like, maybe I need to take action now. Hmm. There is like a deep longing or desire for something here for a situation um, I just feel like you a lot of you are just really missing being a part of a family unit like you you, you don't want to lose that there there's a there's a real sense of hmm. Yeah, see, like, even though you know, you had to let go of, of, a, of a connection here. You had to let go because it was toxic. It was not, it had definitely run its course, okay? Um, there was no future there, and you knew that. You knew that. You knew you had to make this choice. I feel like there may have been secrets or betrayal or, you know, you may have been thinking about this for some time, but you didn't take action on it. But I also feel like there was a lot of sacrifice, like when it comes to what you really wanted, like your desires, there was like, there was a holding back. I feel as though there was distance and a lack of communication between you and another person, um, or even people, you know, maybe some of you um, ended up, like you realize that you ended up cutting ties with a lot of friends or um, you kind of feel like you were isolated maybe you maybe you were with someone who was like very controlling um, and you didn't really realize it until it was too late because like I said there's there's a sense that you you may have pulled yourself away from from uh, maybe controlling yeah somebody was very selfish as well and getting like narcissistic vibes um, but whatever the case is it was not you're healing from this. Okay, but I don't know if this has made you more distrustful. So even though you want this soulmate type situation or you want to find somebody who's like your perfect match, you do want that. But there's a certain cynicism about it because of what you've gone through. 
Yeah, so see, so we have the magician and the king of swords in reverse. So I feel like this, you have to watch this negative thinking because it does affect what it is that you're manifesting. So if you're if you're thinking negatively or you're just, um, you know, saying things out of anger or holding on to resentment or anything like that, well, that is what you're going to manifest is situations that will match that energy and just continue perpetuating itself. Okay, so just be aware. Yeah, you're not ready. I, I, I just get that you, oh my goodness, there's, um, for some of you, I, I do feel that somebody put you in a, in a bad situation financially, or you just are in a bad situation financially. And so you're trying to hold on, you're trying to save every penny, you're trying to be very diligent about that. Because you know that you're you're starting over, but you're still in the in the midst of this tower moment of whatever was destroyed here. You're still dealing with that, and it's it's having some financial ramifications for some of you. Uh, for others, it's like it's causing the fact that you have to spend your energy dealing with this situation is um, just kind of limiting your options at the moment, not forever, but at the moment. Okay, and it's it's got your your vision kind of clouded, and it could very well be clouded with like negative thoughts, thoughts of um, just a lack mentality is what I'm getting. That's not allowing you to to move on to you know your next cycle, and it may just not be time for that next cycle because, like I said, you're still dealing with the ramifications of this tower moment that you've had. There's a lot of, um, I do feel like you, somebody around you is very controlling. I, you know, I, as I said that, I kind of, with the Six of Pentacles here, I have to be honest with you, I feel like this was coming from both sides. Maybe you didn't realize it, but it was definitely, it was like a tit for tat kind of thing. Like you were both trying to, there was a power struggle. That's what I'm getting. Strong Aries here. Or it's just someone who's very dominant. Oof. Oof. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm feeling like um, there was definitely, like, there was things that were not known. There were secrets here. But they're, they they came out or they've, um, they're coming out. I feel like, uh, I feel like you knew something came out, okay, that caused possibly this tower moment. But I'm getting that there's more, you know, there's more being uncovered that if you were, let me put it this way. Let's say you, um, I don't know, somebody, let's say you found out somebody was cheating, somebody was cheating on you. Um, and that caused a breakup. But at the same time, even though it caused the breakup, you still have those moments where you kind of want to reach out to that person again, maybe forgive them. Um, or if it was you that got caught cheating or something like you, you, there was a breakup, but you still want to reach out and like apologize, uh, something like that. But I feel like more things, like you start finding out about more things. And, and so it, it just kills any kind of remnants of feeling that you had of any desire to put any more effort into this situation. Yeah, see, and, and the death card. And that's you right there. Uh, that is your energy. Yeah, okay. So, like I said, you see maybe somebody's dark side, or you see, you find out about secrets, more secrets are uncovered, and you just have had it. But I do feel like somebody is wanting to stop you from leaving. There's a lot of arguments when it comes to lies, secrets. It's it's definitely about the past, and it's something that's very disappointing. I feel like somebody was cheating, to be honest. Let's clarify. The, if that was the case, it was definitely found out. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, this could be past, present, future. This could be what 
may be happening, so it could be a heads up for some of you. There's no way for me to tell. So, you know, take it how it resonates, but yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Sorry, let, let me have my conversation with myself and then I'll... <laughs> so you have set yourself free. That's what I'm seeing here. You have set yourself free. And I feel like this, this Queen of Cups, okay, King of Cups, Queen of Cups situation, so whichever one you are, um, but I feel like this vision of the person, your perfect match is out there somewhere. <laughs> it's not in your vicinity. Then you know that because see, this is, this is somebody who's like looking out on the horizon. It's like, you know, that whatever it is that you want, you maybe have to travel to, um, or is at a distance or is somewhere where you are not currently. Okay. Whatever that may mean for you, but you know that this person is out there. The thing is, see, again, with the Hierophant in reverse, Hierophant is, uh, could be, is like the marriage card. It's in reverse. Hmm. I kind of feel like uh, some of you are, are celebrating the fact that you, that you were able to escape the situation. Like you, some of you may have really felt, and you did. We, 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 look, King of Cups with the Seven of Swords in reverse. So at some point, you felt like this. Like you were just blindfolded and bound and there was nothing you could do about it. But that was really just an illusion. And you found that out and you looks like you did something about it. And I feel like you're proud of yourself here or you feel um, uh, more optimistic about the future because you were able to free yourself from a commitment that you were involved in. And this is definitely what I am seeing is that Again, this decision was not made lightly. This is something that you definitely worried a lot about um, or you are worrying a lot about. Okay. Yeah, so again, I'm getting this message that a lot of the reason or maybe the main reason for some of you, or um, how do I say? Maybe the deciding factor in this situation ending, this commitment for you is a lack of passion. That's somebody stopped trying. And this may have, not that there's an excuse, but I feel like somebody is saying, well, what was I supposed to do? You know, like there was no passion here. There were, maybe there was no sex anymore. Um, and somebody ended up maybe having an affair as a result. And that caused this breakup. But yeah, the star card with the seven of pentacles is definitely telling me that it's, it's going to take time to heal. Whether you were cheated on or you did the cheating. Because I, I feel like either way, um, you're not feeling good about it. So nine of cups reverse with the death in reverse. Yeah, you're, you're still, you know that there's better times ahead, but right now it, it's, it, you're not happy. Obviously you're not happy. Even though you let go of a toxic situation and you are healing from it, but you're still, you know, in, in the depths. Yeah. And you don't know for how long, okay, with the two of rods in reverse and the star in reverse. Sometimes you may even feel like, or you may even ask yourself, am I going to feel this way forever? Because how will this ever feel any better? Yeah, see, you're kind of apprehensive about what it is that you start at this time. Relationship-wise or any kind of moves that you make, you're, you're, you're a little bit... Um, you're trying to be measured and reserved, which is probably a good idea, you know, especially when it comes to relationships, because I will remind you, we're also in a Venus retrograde, which is not the greatest time, you know, to start any kind of new relationship, much less just coming out of uh, another one. So, you know, not judging, I'm not judging, I'm just saying, 
I feel like your thought process, you know, you're onto something here. You've made, you, yeah, you need more time. Uh, King of Swords in reverse with the lovers. Mm, the, the, again, I'm getting this uh, vibe of, uh, so whatever happened here, I feel like you may have been betrayed, Scorpio. Maybe it was you that was betrayed. But whatever happened there, it, it definitely has made you more guarded. Um, and this may be, uh, you know, one of the reasons why you are hesitant to get into any other relationships because, uh, you're still holding on to some resentment is what I'm seeing, or somebody is resentment, anger. Um, yeah. There's definitely a decision has been made that there is no second chances for whoever this was that did the cheating or the betrayal. Yeah, because this was this, wow, when this truth came out, it like, everybody felt it. There may even have been, I'm getting like police coming to the house, like there may have been like a domestic disturbance or just a lot of fighting and breaking things and maybe the neighbors called the police, whatever it was, but it was explosive. And yeah, somebody was very regretful because... I'll be honest with you. I don't know if it's you or the other person, but I feel like immediately when this happened, this tower moment, there was a sense of regret because they knew that it was going to cost them financially. So how fucked up is that? Like, that's where your mind, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm just saying like, <laughs> I just feel like in that moment and, this reminds me of my son. My son's a Scorpio. <laughs> so he has this habit, you know, when whenever there's like these tower moments, you know, critical situations that are kind of dire, um, he has a habit of like just laughing, you know, from the, the nervousness. And, he has, you know, he just has like a nervous laugh. And um, that's kind of what I'm like, I'm getting like the same sort of vibe <laughs> from that. Because it's like your first instinct was to, I'm saying you because this is your reading. So it could be you or it could be the other person. So please don't take offense. But um, your first instinct was to say, shit, my money. <laughs> like, you know, um, when this person found out, because if it was you that was cheating. Now, if it was the other person, that's what they were thinking. Like, oh, this is going to cost me. This mistake is going to cost me. And they were instantly regretful because I do feel like this... <sighs> Somebody's kind of greedy, I have to say, or, or just very um, financially focused. Let's put it that way. Oh, yeah. So we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So two things. Again, King of Pentacles is, you know, the, the guy when that you go to if you want to be committed. You know, he would be the guy to marry um, because in the upright, though. In the reverse, not so much. So maybe this is the energy that you're embodying right now. Um, you could have Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and your Sun, Moon, or Rising, one of your big three. But you may be this person right now. Maybe, you know, the King of Pentacles in reverse is also somebody who's not feeling very financially stable at the moment. He's not feeling stable just in general at all. Um, it's also somebody who is a commitment phobe, does not want stability. It's also somebody who may be corrupt um, or greedy, again, because I do get like a greedy energy here. So, and I feel like that may be causing delays. So for some of you, like this greediness may be causing a delay in you being able to move on to your next chapter or vice versa. Okay, so we have the, uh, ooh, okay, Emperor with the High Priestess. There was a lot of secrets here. About a commitment itself, okay, what it really was. I feel like there, there was a connection here that was very one-sided. You know, one person felt stuck and one person felt like, this is my, my person. You know, this is my end-all, be-all, my forever person. And the other person was really like secretly feeling like, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm looking for an exit plan. There, there, there's a sense here, you see, because the Knight of Swords is super fast energy. This is like you 
somebody wanted to like get the help out of a situation, but they were kind of forced to wait because of secrets, maybe. I, again, High Priestess, Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, but to me that screams like affairs. Somebody was having affairs um, and trying to keep it quiet. Well, obviously trying to keep it quiet, but I, I do feel like the cat got out of the bag and it caused a lot of conflict here. And there's a, I'm getting like there's a lot of money in the balance, like, you know, the, a lot's at stake. A lot's at stake. It's caused a lot of instability, just, you know, all that has happened. Yeah, yeah, look. This is your energy, Scorpio, with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So it's like this feeling like something ended and maybe you weren't prepared or uh, something is definitely changing and you want to kind of slow it down a bit or 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 you feel like you can't act, okay? So something has ended or is changing and there's a sense of like restriction because someone's standing in your way. Yeah, look, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person is causing um, a lot of conflict in your life. You may be having a lot of arguments with this person um, and they may be causing you to have obstacles in, in your way of what it is that you want. Uh, to change. That is why you may feel like you were stopped in your tracks. There's things that you don't know also. I feel like um, things have either been done or not told to you in order for you to not be able to have a new beginning or to cause you delays. We have the Queen of Swords here. Okay. I feel like you know this though. It's, it's like you're too smart for that. I'm also getting uh, somebody wanted to be the one, you know, to either they wanted to be the one to file for the divorce or something like that. I don't know. And so they were hiding something. Hmm. Well, okay. I, look. I have to say, the Hierophant, you know, is talking about marriage. Could be a Taurus as well, but I feel like this is talking about just a marriage or a commitment, okay? That you're feeling very upset over. Um, very emotional, okay? Which usually you may not be very emotional, but you are very emotional about the situation. There's a lot of disappointment. Uh, but regardless, the emotions are just overwhelming. Um, a lot of thoughts about, you know, memories from the past, and I, I see a lot of tears as well, but I also feel that this may be pushing you towards maybe somebody from your past that makes you feel good about yourself or that, that has a lot of love for you and you just know that this person would be open. Um, but I I'm going to be honest, I just feel like if that's the case and, and you're wanting to go towards somebody right now, just know that it's it's more so about you and not having been fully healed that's making you do that than the actual connection between you and that person. Not to say that you don't have a special connection with a person here, but I'm just saying right now your decision to do that is being driven by a lack of closure and healing. So it, it, uh, what I'm saying is that it wouldn't be the healthiest thing to do at this point. So, but you know, you do what you want. <laughs> uh, I'm just here to deliver the message that that may not be the way that you would want to go. But So let's see how this story ends up. That is, uh, it feels like exhausting, I have to say. <laughs> this feels exhausting. So I can't even imagine how you guys are doing. Um, I mean, I am a Taurus, and what we share in common, Scorpio, 
is that, you know, the north nodes just moved into our signs, Scorpio Taurus being opposite signs. And so these huge shifts and changes are just faded at this time to happen. So we just got to roll with the punches. I'm right there with you. Okay, judgment. <clears throat> the two of pentacles reverse, the page of sword reverse, the ten of sword reverse, five of cups, the sun. Okay. I, I, I kind of like this because I feel as though, you know, yes, it's going to be harsh. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be, you know, painful for some time, but I see you letting it go. There, there's um, like a moment of clarity. I feel like a lot of you are going through a rebirth of sorts, uh, an awakening, something like that. It, it feels like spiritually it feels very powerful. Whatever is happening to you at this time, maybe you've had a lot of realizations, you've come to a lot of conclusions on major uh, topics in your life that have been plaguing you, you know, like forever, and you were able, you were finally able to, like, bring closure to situations that previously held you down, even though it seemed minor even to you. So sometimes we hold on to these wounds that don't seem like anything, but then they, they turn out like with time you find out that it was, um, it was a lot deeper than you actually um, had given this credit to. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of clarity with regards to emotions. Um, I feel like it clears up a lot of the, a lot of the fog. Sorry, I can't talk today. It clears up a lot of the fog uh, or fogginess about... Maybe uh, situations that you feel you lost or you missed out on. Um, I feel like a lot is clarified for you. There's a lot of truth coming out here. Um, yeah, but it, it's more so about past experiences. So there's going to be a lot of realizations when it comes to your past experiences and you being able to kind of just let that go and not hold on to it, especially with aggression, because I do get um, that kind of vibe for some of you. Huh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting that, you know, you're getting a lot of clarity on whatever was holding you back and causing you to not, like, live your life to the fullest potential or explore, um, explore new things, explore opportunities, interests. I, I also feel like you, there is a sense of, uh, you know, having, having missed out on a particular opportunity. And, and I feel like you're getting clarity on, like, where you went wrong there. There, there. You may have passed something up is what I'm getting here with the Four of Cups and the Page of Cups in reverse. So there was an opportunity here at a certain point in your life that you may have passed this up and you're getting clarity um, that you didn't have before is what I'm getting. And so this is somehow going to bring closure to you. Wow, look at this. The Seven of Wands reverse is clarifying the Seven of Wands. So, yeah, very clear message there that whatever it was that you were resisting in the past or that you were um, trying to be forceful about, you kind of give up on. You, you, you realize that it's not worth the struggle um, or it's just not worth your energy or, you know, You may have some kind of reunion. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is somebody that you see, that you, you feel is like very nurturing. So maybe this is somebody who, for some of you, could even be a mother. 
okay, your mother or a mother figure in your life or somebody that you um, just feel very at home with, okay? This is a very nurturing person, makes you feel safe. Maybe, you know, you, you it could be a friend, it could be anybody, but it, it's like a sense of like coming home, like a reunion, that's what I'm getting. It's like you need somebody who you know is going to take care of you, cook you a warm meal, like just you know, make you feel all warm and fuzzy. That's what I'm seeing is like you're seeking this person out or you know that there's there's this person in your life who can provide that for you and you see that in your future. There may be travel or something, but I, I see you reuniting with someone because you need their support and comfort. Yeah, it's almost like... Um, I'm sorry, hold on one second. Page of Swords in reverse. I Scorpio, I have to warn you, I feel as though um, there's someone that you had conflict with. I don't know if you've made an enemy or recently or or it's, I don't want to say enemy, I mean, for some of you, it could very well be, but I feel like there's somebody that you had conflict with. Um, you're out of the situation. This could be the person that, you, you know, you were in a relationship with, but I, again, I'm getting like a lot of anger, um, lack of self-control, and I'm getting like a spying or stalking. Um, for some of you, slander, something like that. I feel this person may feel like you, you've rejected them and they're just not taking it well. Yeah. I feel like you ended a relationship with someone here and it didn't end well and this person's trying to apologize and you're not you may be blocking their calls like you know that they're trying to reach out to you and you, you're blocking their calls because you don't you don't you don't want this person back it's a no. You don't want this person back. You're not going to give them any more energy. There's someone you're dropping here. I feel it's it's almost like it's like you know what you need. You know how you want to feel. You know how so, you want somebody to make you feel, and this person doesn't make you feel like that. And so because you have this clarity here, this is clarity to me about either some, this represents like someone that you either want in your life or um, sort of the archetype of, you know, the characteristics of who you want nurturing you or caring for you uh, because you've come out of a right, like, even abusive or just toxic situation here that wants to come back into your life and you don't want this person back. You don't want to get back into a situation like that. You know how you want to be treated now. All right, last messages. Wow, Jesus, I went over an hour on this reading. Oh, Lord. Okay, so that first part is relaxation. So, yeah, definitely, I mean, we heard that pretty, you know, repetitively during the reading is that you needed to take more time for yourself, do some meditation. Um, there, there seems to be like a lot of introspection that needs to be done here. Wow. It's going to be worth it to take that time for yourself, you know, to, to just get your thoughts together, um, get your, your visions clear on where you're going in the future. And purify those thoughts as well, because I, I, I like I said, I, I felt for some of you 
there may be a tendency to fall into either cynicism or just negative thinking overall, lack of mentality, and we need to make sure that your thoughts are very clean, pure, positive, so that you can achieve the success that is definitely there for you, whatever this means to you, this Ten of Cups for you. Um, whether it be, you know, you wanting to find someone who is going to support you at the level that you want to be supported or loved at the level that you want to be loved, um, whatever that is, you know, or maybe you just want to be single and you just want to roam free like this puma here and, um, you know, discover the world on your own, whatever that is or represents to you you will have it but there is definitely make no mistake that there is a process here that needs to happen okay of, of, of a purging uh, the moon represents emotions so there's definitely a huge purging of emotions which could very well be happening um, you know during the time of this full moon in cancer so I do feel like that this full moon is going to be relevant um, for you Scorpio so that was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. And, uh, I will see you guys next month. Uh, love you guys. Bye.